Well, mud covers streets in Sun Valley as well. It sits under the burn area from September's Latuna fire, and today's rain sent the mud and debris rushing down. And a short time ago, a mandatory evacuation order was issued for people who live between 8300 and 8800 Latuna Canyon Road. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Sun Valley to show us the cleanup happening this evening. Dave? Pat, we're about a mile from where you just mentioned where that mandatory evacuation order has gone into effect. Uh, we cannot get up there safely, so we're not even going to attempt to do that. It's about a mile over my shoulder, just beyond the lights of that great big bulldozer there. Uh, and there are 23 homes involved. Now, as for the rest of this area where I'm now standing, that is voluntary. Uh, but it, it doesn't appear that it's going to rain much later on, at least that's what we're being told, and it's voluntary. I talked to a number of people. They say that they've been told if they leave the area, they're not going to be able to get back, and this is only one way in and out, and trying to get on Latuna Canyon Road either direction. Well, as you can see behind me, it's a mess. And the mud came flowing down Latuna Canyon Road four months and eight days after a fire devastated the hillsides that surround this neighborhood. I knew this was going to happen. I think most people in the neighborhood figured it would. Sean Eschbach told me he borrowed a buddy's bobcat. He's never driven one before. He just wanted to get all this mud away from his house. It's bad, but it's not the end of the world. It didn't hurt anybody's homes. But it made this section of Latuna Canyon Road, just off Sunland, all the way up to the base of the hills, impassable. The rain started pouring down around 3 a.m., I am told. An LAPD squad car was on patrol, making sure that nothing bad would happen, when suddenly, his squad car got stuck in the mud. He was unhurt, and the car had to be towed out. The road was a mess. In some places where we couldn't go, we were told the mud was almost a foot deep, and it would take all day, in fact, a couple of days, before anything could be cleared away. The problem? The weather. It just wouldn't stop raining. Every so often, the sun would tease us all and pop out behind those clouds and then disappear, and the rains would come all day long. My house is on the top of the hill, so I don't have no, no mud on my house. Trying to get to his house through this thick, gooey, muddy mess, not going to happen. Uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I said, I have to go to work. Luis Guerra is the project manager for the hospital that's called Totally Kids, a facility that houses young children who need to be on a ventilator and are in critical condition. He knew there could be trouble, so he arrived early and made sure the mud would stay away, and it did. The mud stayed in the parking lot, and all the young patients were safe. That's why I got here so early. The fire department cleaned out the area and then put in the K-rails. Again, a close call, but all those young patients are okay. And again, just to make it very clear, about a mile behind me up Latuna Canyon Road, there are 23 homes, 8300 to 8700 block, mandatory evacuations. Now, they can either come down this road or they go around the back way. Everyone else in this area, all the way down to Sunland, it is voluntary evacuation, but I don't see too many people leaving. And they've been told, if you leave, you can't come back. Just when this area will be cleaned up, when this street will be passable, it depends on the rain, and who knows. Back to the studio.